Oh, yes. Yes, oh, yes. Friends, it's Drew from Not Ideal Gaming. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16, episode 14, I believe. Possibly the second to last episode of this game. Because we are, as you can see here, we got all of our buds. We got a shop. We had a main, main story quest right before Drake's spine in the background. We are doing some stuff here. Now, in the middle of my stream yesterday, we had a bit of a network error. And my bitrate went really crazy. And it got kind of fuzzy. Hopefully that doesn't happen today. But you know something else I remembered? When I played Crisis Core, it blocked the ending. So I'm really hoping it doesn't do that for this game. If we are to win the day, we must all play our part. If it does... Ours. Ours lies beyond those doors. If it does block the ending when I'm recording, then uh, what I'll do is, when I post my YouTube video, I'll just, like, we fought long enough post someone fight. else's ending. <laughs> Sid's dream. Our dream is within our grasp. Yet another reason I need to we capture card. We endure this final trial, and we shall... Boom, boom, boom. Together. Together. Is this the final trial, though? Because I feel like we have a lot of uh, side quests that we that are going to open up after you this. You all know what it is that awaits us beyond this gate. There's going to be some kind of something. We we know this. And we side shall quests face and hunts together. Together. Aye. Aye. Boom. 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 I don't have to hold R2 for that? Eh, boy. Yo, is that an Akashic behemoth? No thanks. It seems our hosts would rather we remain. Oh, Dion. Dion's so awesome. I will stay them. We will stay them. Go! Just don't keep us waiting. No, oh, they're gonna be like you two go. Boom, 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 boom. And there he is, just chilling. You. Welcome, Summons of Fire. Yeah, it's Orgol, sick. The end. Now, is he gonna warp, warp us to the top of the Mother Crystal? I sincerely hope so. Dwarms! To battle! We get to hear Ultima say Meowthos a bunch now. Just you wait. Just you wait. Was like, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> Whoa, where is this extremely dark area? Joshua. <clears throat> Joshua, wake up. And does Joshua still have the chest thing going on? Clive, is that you? Who else would it be, Joshua? This, Come on now, buddy. This isn't stone here. So sure ain't. Come. Welcome to our darkness. A rift between worlds wherein your kind might reflect. Show yourself! Grave and many. Are the sins of man. And oh. we would have you know them. All of them. Okay. As fate has seen fit to deliver you home. Consider this our welcoming gift. Okay. Hmm. It would seem we are trapped. Very astute. 
And the only way out is through Ultima. That creaky leather. We find him and we leave. After ripping his steam beating heart out. The interdimensional rift. Whoa. Oh, when I get my little. My little buddy, my little companion. When the music is nice and moody. This place looks cool, man. Reminds me of like some Final Fantasy X-2 stuff. Is my thing like particularly bright right now? Let's do that. That seems better. Or am I just particularly pale? Might be a combination of the two. If you are to comprehend the full extent of your transgressions, we must go back to the beginning. When the world was still young, we visited upon it a miracle, Medical. magic, and in its light did all life flourish. Almost sounds like near music. It's gonna be a history lesson in this area. Yet the price for this boon would prove heavy. A pall descended upon the land, painting the horizon black as night. Though we labored to forestall its spread, in this one endeavor, we stood powerless. The blight? And so we fled, that we might endure. Endure, that we might discover a means of salvation. If it was magic that caused the blight, what of the mother crystals? I expect he'll tell us soon enough. I was gonna say we've been destroying the mother crystals when the mother crystals could have like helped. Oops! This piano theme is incredible. Makes me want to play the electric piano in my room that I've been ignoring for a long time. Oops. I am assuming that there, there are going to be no collectibles or anything in here. It's just going to be moodiness. Mm hmm. Salvation, alas, was not readily to be had. First, we would require a land unvisited by the stain of corruption. An unprecedented journey lay before us, one beyond the limits of our fleshly bodies. And so we cast them off. Thus stripped to our very spirit did we find our new paradise. A land as pure as driven snow, Valisthea. There would the true work begin. For the black crept yet behind us. And soon did we arrive at a solution. The illness having spread to every organ. There was but one escape from this fate. To start afresh. With a new world. The one for which Barnabas labored. A paradise free from the blight where his god awaits. And where, if we only forfeit our wills and abandon everything we hold dear, humanity can join him. Very good. So, Ultima would have us follow in the footsteps of the king. 
and follow we shall. For now. Until we cut his head off, body. Joshua just standing at the ready. I was gonna say, are you gonna form up for me? For the lore dump section? Torkoal follow this in, that's so great. To I love it. Acquiring the first would be simple. Untouched by the blight, Valisthea was replete with ether, and we had only to place jewels in her crown to claim it. Acquiring the second, however, demanded creativity. Torkoal's not like a man, but so I cast forth the seeds. Of humanity. You created us. Is that not what gods do? We sowed the seeds for you, Muthos, all that you might one day blossom. And our future thus secured, we thought to slumber, though that would prove a grave mistake. For it was as we slept that man committed his greatest sin. He awoke. Alone in a world bereft of his god's radiance, he stumbled blindly, desperate for guidance. Finding no light, he sought to kindle his own. And from that single errant impulse was his will born. Having discovered himself at last, man turned his eyes inward and found he desired evermore that which only magic might afford. So wars were waged and brothers slain for custody over that dwindling resource and the land she wept tears of black. Who so condemn us for this? Surely he cannot be so blind to his own hypocrisy. Not blind, just unwilling to admit the truth. That they're the cause of the blame. We are one and the same. Mm-hmm. I can't get over this track right now. It's so good. Give me steps. No oh, Torgal. All right, what other nonsense is Ultima going to have for us at the top of this step? Oh, it looks like we're getting closer. <laughs> Come, y'all in the house. Is that... The freight? Or what's left of him? Whoa. Long have our ashes lain cold. For want of a spark, cast your eyes upon them and see what you must become. Are we gonna have to fight it free? <sighs> Valisthea cannot endure a second claim upon her being. The avarice of man drives her ever closer to destruction. But she may yet be saved by you. It is what you were born to do. 
why we nursed you and fed you as your own mother should have. Yeah, but we learned that our mother in this game stinks. And now that you are fully grown, our Muthos, it is time at last for you to serve your purpose. His eyes are so nuts looking. To right your wrongs. If our sin is wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because you abandoned us. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. Is this truly so difficult to comprehend? We only ever require you, Muthos, when the time comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because Typical Final Fantasy. It belongs to you. It belongs to us all! Yeah, dude. What? That I mean, is where you are mistaken. Yeah, he gave you those powers, so. You nothing but your precious will. Brother. I can't do this alone. And you don't have to. Isn't... He the one that said that I grow weary of your descent. That Ultima wanted them to combine. Now you must learn that this master will not tolerate disobedience. Yo. Dude, he looks so sick. My friends, my family, we have all suffered, all fought to survive. This world may be flawed, it may be broken, but it's all we have. And if we can't share it, God, that's so cool looking. A choice. You have to go. Nice. You may have created us, Ultima. But it's time we lived on our own terms. This isn't your world anymore. It's us. Sick. Whoa, that's so sick looking. Man, I'm like already... Ah, uh, man. Give me the level three, dude. Oh, I did not meant to do that one. Did not mean to do that one. Oh well, whatever. Man, I am really bad at... Like, this is... What a terrible fight to do as my first fight of the night.
I've gotten hit by like every single thing. Let's just hit him with this. Let's hit him with this. Let's... I hit the wrong button again, crud. Man, does that do so much. Uh. A fair amount of damage there. Only forty nine K. Sublime through game standing. Okay. I think I wasted an ability there, though. Only with heads hung low is penance paid. Okay. A bent horizon. Whoa. In fitting season shall we reap our harvest. At least I avoided some of it. Give me the second round. Oh. Right, dude. I'm so early on that every time. Distance here. Get parry, bro. Oh, and he's staggered. We're just going to go straight down the line with our abilities. Well, we'll skip that one for now, and we'll because we want to definitely get to the to the Giga Flare. Something going on. Did this chance, and oh. still you would raise your hand against the Lord. I wasn't even paying attention to how much health he had. I'm assuming it's down to like a third, maybe. Whoa. He 
means to end us. It wouldn't be the first time. I guess he doesn't need us anymore. Let's make it his last. Yeah, dude. Your fate is inexorable. Surrender the vessel unto the darkness. Surrender it unto us. Dude. Dude. Let's hit him with this real quick. There's level two already. Man, for rising, get out of here with that nonsense. this is going to do it, because look, that's not doing a ton of damage. We'll see how much this does. Filling up my limit a lot. Man, that did half of his health. There we go. Definitely not a final battle. Can't be. Look at all my ability points. Holy moly. The Pull of Darkness. Dancing Steel. Also, what would be the use of giving you stuff? If you can't even equip it. For countless generations have we awaited this moment. Get him, Torgal. I was gonna say, like, are we gonna have an icon fight or what? Melee Athos. Your struggles have made you strong, yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven. Yeah, right. A likely story. Oh, oh everything's all wavy. It's Sid! And our father. Oh, Sid, talking to Mid. This is pretty wild. Tell me, Clive. How many lives have you saved since taking my name? Oh man, we're gonna have to face our sins. Fewer than we have ruined. 
Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. Yikes. These... These are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring, all they will ever bring, is death? There's no atoning, Clive. No matter how hard you try. I disagree. So why not leave it all behind? I was going to say we didn't hear from little Joshua. Clive! Yeah, he's trying to shake us out. Go back to me, Clive! Whoa, look at this place. Please, won't somebody save me? Benedicta! Somebody love me! I yawn. Yet still, she is not mine. Have I not given enough? This is From wild. Is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Do you not see how the world is. bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? This is wild. What if it could all just go away? Just go away. No, Clive. No, I think not. Clive! Mm -hmm. Clive! He's trying to bring us back. is real wake up thanks Joshua it's time to go home Clive Clive that's right you're my brother brother he is messed up man Oh, the phoenix feather! Come. Remember who you are. Clive. Rossfield. Once more. Lest you forget. <laughs> My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Nice. Look, Ultima. Now let's go wreck this wall. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched, and the phoenix, his trespass should not have been possible, not possible unless, unless he has been with Muthos all along. Muthos. The mark of the phoenix emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. You're the dang right. Of creation. Can it be? 
Are their wills truly so potent? He enunciates so well. Shout out to that. Talking. Oh, yeah. Oh, give me the icon fight. Man. And it's the battle music. Sick. The soundtrack of this game is is absolutely incredible. Did we destroy Drake's mind with that? Sick. Oh, but it's the purple one. I like purple. Oh, well. Man a trophy. Shout out. Pause. <laughs> Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave this place. Eh? We don't even know how we got here. How are we supposed to leave? To Ultima just warped us here himself, and if he's not going to warp us out, how are we supposed to leave? Torba, what do you think, buddy? And once again, does my creation stray from the path laid before it? Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? In the halls of origin, does our true power quicken? And there shall you be made complete. complete. Soon, Muthos. Soon you will discover. Septi, 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 you know dogs of suffering. suffering. Yeah, babe. Did he warp us out? Inside. Whoa. And so the crystals are no more. Yet in their silence, a new song rings. What a dope angle for this city. chorus building. A crescendo as it enters its final movement. Stirring those long a slumber to waking. And back to their origin. His eyes almost look like cavities. Like they look like the the absence of eyes. Whoa! Whoa! Floating continent, huh? Shout out to Final Fantasy VI. What's the over-under on how many uh, 
the side quests we're going to open up in between these two main quests. Ten, maybe? I, I'm thinking maybe ten. Get him, Gav. Bloody crystals cracked. So where the hell are they? And what is that thing? Oh, fuck me. Oh, Gav. Gav at the potty mouth. Is that... Ether? See ya, buddy. What in good Grieger's name is going on? This is wrong. Good Grieger. Are we back? Clive! Joshua! Jill! Please, hey. We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. Hmm. Yeah, let's get the heck out of here. Now. Everyone, fall back to the ship. Turtle's like, you say no more, buddy. Say no more. I will be with you and none. Thank you. Dion owns. I was gonna say, aren't you a yeah. I was gonna say if he's a dragoon, where's the uh, where's his jumpy powers? Sick! God, that's so sick. And his armor is super cool. Bye. Boom, boom, boom. Yo, look at that thing. Look at that thing. That's so cool. Boom, boom. Now is it going to play our music? It's going to play back to their origin. I need to tell everyone what happened to Drake's spine. Mm hmm And I'm going to need Otto's help. A new crafting recipe. A... A new missive has been delivered. Trouble with your gear, or... What do you want? Not really. Ooh, Defender plus one. Use one of my no scratches, right? behemoth shackles. Yeah, that should do you. What up, dude? 340? I mean, the god are damn wrong, though. This is reinforce. Isn't that like 375? Yeah. I need two more ore calcum, one more dark scale. There's the skies. Then the crystal. Great Gigas Gash. Grieger. A new life. While the going was slow, and not without the occasional run-in with some straggling ore, I saw Edda back safe to the Shadow Coast where Mid was made, waiting kindly with the Enterprise. On the voyage home, I like to think the poor lass opened up a little, telling us about her life and life she wants for her baby, but I suppose it's up to us now to make certain the little one gets a gav. all. Oh. Well, ain't that just adorable? Uh, we'll get rid of this little coin on the redstone. Yo. Oh, hey, Dion. He's always so serious. 
And we don't have any new hunts. We don't have any new side quests. Back again? Ah. How may I help you today? Gotta get rid of this coin well up in here. Is that it? That's it, and we can go anywhere we want. Still alive, I see. Something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. How'd you manage that? It's a long story. Yo, look at my sword. I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck, then. I imagine once we go to that crystal thing, it's going to be like, this is the point of no return. Make sure you do everything before you go. Is this everyone? Boom, boom, boom. You know it's intense when they play the title music. Title screen As I'm sure music. you all guessed. The crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. He called it Origin. Now the significance of that name is as yet unclear. What does it matter what it's called? Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Ah, oh, the girl! Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Valisthian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well... The Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canberra is in flames, and the Empire... Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that oh, we got Yote there. This mother crystal is like the others. That it draws upon the land's ether. It certainly looked that way, from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the blight since the crystal's appearance. Would it not? It would. And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pulls. Corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. Arcade above. Ether floods below and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. Oh. <laughs> He's like, oh, sorry. It's all right. It's all right. When we faced him at Stone here, Ultima told us his true power quickens in the halls of origin. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to continue. Sure can. If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. How are we going to manage that then? It's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly. <laughs> Not yet. Anyway. It's a lot to take it. But I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. Go do some the side quests. Will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Mm -hmm. Right. That's right. Well, go on then. Good for you, Otto. Bugger off. Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right? Eh? Go fight some hunts. Thank you. I wonder if it like forces you to do. Joshua seemed upset. Just 
I did a rail. Where is Joshua's right here? No side quests open up yet. What's up, buddy? You can see it from here. Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. Mm -hmm. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, there may be, but a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy. It may take generations, centuries of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part. But it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> this tune, Indeed. too. And what better world could one wish for? Give me a Final Fantasy 16 piano collections. Give me that. But first, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the Founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Oh, Joshua. Sure. All right. I yield. I yield. But only what you must. Yes. I am still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit. Your brother mentioned that some few of the Dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. Then mine will have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? You have My the life ended dude. in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. Oh, sick. He has much to answer for. I would have words. We are in your debt, Dion. Consider it paid. We can speak of debts when this is over. Ah, with a little smirk. He speaks like a man who knows he's not coming back. I mean, do you blame? Can you blame him? has come to terms with that. That doesn't mean that we have to. 
Does it, Clive? I'm to talk to Jill. I only hope she understands. And she's in my chambers. You know what I'm gonna do? While I'm thinking about it. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. Yeah. Do that while I'm thinking about it. Ooh, she's in this little back portion. A lie. Hmm. Come to wish on a star. Be such a bad idea. Oh, from the beginning. This is it, Jill. Sweet, sweet callback. You know what I have to do. Why well, I have to do it. There's no turning back now. This is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end, for better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? You always are. I did promise we'd watch the road together. I'll be waiting. Oh, these two. Love it. Love it. There we go. Nice time. <laughs> no hunts. But look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven just here. Seven, eight. Nine, ten, called it. Totally called it. Better make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Two here, so eleven. Wow, in a mood. In case you haven't noticed, your poor hound spends all his time of late on the rear deck whimpering like Gavin his cups. Something ain't right, and my gut tells me it's not to do with supply of antelope bones. What is it this time, Torgal? Eleven side quests. That's definitely going to take up the rest of the string. In search of a lost home from Vivian. Reluctant as I am to add to your burdens, I would ask your aid in a personal matter, albeit one that may be beneficial to your cause. There exist ancient texts deemed so injurious to modern thought that the mere possession is deemed a crime. It was a chance encounter with one such tome, from a distance, that sparked within me the scholastic curiosity which burns to this very day. I wish to enlist your aid in reclaiming that text, should you require further incentive, though I'm willing to offer compensation for services rendered. Sure! Something tells me this is no mere adventure story. Whoa, 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 whoa. Inconvenient truth. Well... Ooh, and I gotta talk to you. This is wild how many I just opened up. So let's go talk to whoever this is, and then we'll circle back around, because it looks like we need to get going with something there anyway, so. Oh, it's Unk! What's up, Unk? Three's company. Boy. Rutherford informs me that we owe you our thanks. Hadn't intended for you to get involved, but such are the times we live in, huh? Yeah. I would have done the same for anyone else. You're far too modest, Clive. You'd make a terrible nobleman. But tell me, is the realm truly in as dire a state as Rutherford suggests? From what little I saw, you were right to be worried. Uh, I suppose I should have expected the worst. But I was rather hoping the great and good of the realm might have things a little more under control. 
Alas, it seems that firm leadership is in short supply these days, and without it, the people are bound to lose their way. We must move quickly. But where do we start? True, the challenges that face us are many. But in my estimation, there are two key areas to be addressed before any other. The realm's armies and her larders. As you've seen firsthand, it's every man and woman for themselves out there. Certain cities have banded together to try and maintain some semblance of order, yes. But such cases are few and far between. And yet, the only remedy for the chaos that faces us is unity. A unity that transcends even the borders laid down by our ancestors. In short, if Storm does not stand together, she will fall apart. But how would one even begin to unite the realm? The armies, my boy. As I told you already, we begin by restoring order among the ranks of those sworn to maintain it. Sadly, I doubt I could convince even the lowliest gaggle of privates to dig a latrine together. But I do know someone the high commanders have been. I love the writing in this game so much. Field Marshal Eugen Havel. Eugen. I thought he was retired. Is he from Sheboygan? Until an Akashic army tore through Randalar and killed most of the rank and file. There is no man alive more capable. Literally. And as luck would have it, I've already spoken with him on the matter. Yeah. Um... Of course you have. And he's agreed to help. On one condition. That he first speaks with you personally. Mm, guess we're gonna have to go Havel has run the law. Been a man of frustratingly rigid principle. And he has certain qualms about clasping arms with well with an outlaw. With an outlaw. I extolled your many virtues as best I could, of course. But the old goat was adamant that he be allowed to appraise you in person. You don't mind, do you, my boy? Of course not. Of course not. Well, this is where we're going to get all that as reputation that, we've reigns, been, we that we were build missing. World. I'll do whatever it takes. When we're going to be able to unlock Marshall the to speak with me in person, uh, and so be it. That's the spirit. What I might do... Randalar at once. Would you send a Stolas? Of course. Rutherford is already in the Dalmechian capital. I'll have him tell Havel to expect you forthwith. Excellent. Thank you, Uncle. No. So, thank you, Clive. Because I think we don't need that much for the Genji Glove. So... Thanks, Betty. Let's go talk to... This might be the, uh... The Torgal quest, maybe? Say what you will. But yeah, if we can get the Genji Glove, we want that, for sure. Hiding for something, boy. What is it? What do you see out there? Whimper. I never did ask where you got that anklet of yours. From Said, that's why. On the day brought him home. How long ago? And you're only thinking to ask this now? <sighs> Sid saw that the pup had a habit of gnawing on his leg, since you ask. Clap that there iron on him to keep him from doing it. What was wrong, boy? I'll take like as not. Must have been hard on the poor whelp losing his loving masters at such a young age. Doubly hard in being a frost wolf. Torn away from his icons and all. Sid would yeah. always tell him, You want my iron gone, you find what it is you're looking for. I reckon what he was looking for was you. I'm sorry, Togo. Sorry for making you wait so long. Oh. Let's get that thing off you. Is this one of the keepsakes for our thing? Growl? You growling at me? Doesn't sound like he wants it off. Indeed. You miss it as much as the rest of us, don't you? Are we gonna visit Sid's grave? You want me to go with you somewhere? To Sid's oh. grave! Oh. Quick, aren't you? 
Glad you've been paying attention. Not nearly as much as you have, Lady Karen. Aye, good thing and all. It's not like Gav would have kept him in nuts and rubbed his belly these past ten summers. Your kindness is appreciated. You've been a good friend to him. Only because he doesn't talk back like the rest of you. Go on now. Go on now. Where to then, Torkel? Let's... Let's do the Torkel quest. And hopefully once we do that, we'll be able to get the Genji Glove. I forget how much reputation it said it was worth, but... What do you think, boy? Alright, Toggle. Where are you taking me? I'm going to need a little bit more than that, boy. Do you have a better hint for me? Unless... You've already given me one. Back on the rear deck, you were looking west, toward Rosaria. Wow. Why don't we try the rookery? I haven't been to the island in almost 20 years. The rookery? To port is older then. Fingers crossed the old mooring is still there. Interesting. Okay. That's jo Joshua has a quest for us. Interesting. Joshua has a quest. Homeboy here has a quest. Let's talk. We already opened up Vivian's quest though, so let's talk to her. Vivian, I read your note, and I'd be happy to help you find the book you're looking for. Thank you, Clive. But tracking it down will not be easy. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Please. You have always granted me your wisdom and insight whenever I asked. It's only right that I return the favor. Or at least attempt to. You are too kind. Alas, what I ask of you is rather more trying than delivering the odd lecture. I spoke with Harpocrates to see if he had any inkling as to where another copy might be found, but... But perhaps it is best that you hear the details from him. If you say so. Forgive me, Clive, for asking this of you. But this book, it set me on the path to becoming who I am today. Its importance cannot be overstated. What I'll do is I will, since the thing holds three at a time, I'll do three quests at a time. Then I'll turn them in. Let's see how much we need for the Genji gloves. Twenty. Come again. So. I have more for ya. We got a kitty coming up. So many quests. And who is this? Oh, that's Homegirl. Hi. Why don't you come over here? We got to talk to Tones real quick. Why don't you come lay down? Lay down right there. That's a good place to lay down. Ah, Clive, my boy. What a pleasure it is to see you. Hippocrates. There's something I need to ask you. I've been charged with locating a book called From a Distance. Then you seek a rare gem indeed. One mm. whose name I had not thought to hear from your lips. You've been talking to Vivian. Right as always. But she didn't seem keen to tell me very much. I take it she didn't like what you had to say. And yet I gather it did not to dissuade her. Clive, if the young professor has tasked you with obtaining a copy, I fear she asks the impossible. The executors would not allow it. The executors? Covetors Who are they? A clandestine organization committed to the collection and intenebration of forbidden texts and Ooh. technologies. One such text being the tome Vivian seeks. Chronicling as it does, the true history of the enslavement of bearers. 
A tale which could overturn the established order were it yeah. ever to become widely known. Or, so rumor has it, I've never actually read the thing, or even set eyes on it for that matter. How is it that I haven't heard of this organization? Why, secrecy is the executor's watchword. They lurk in the shadows, emerging only to seize that which must be seized, be it books, inventions, or people. Or people. Before disappearing again, leaving Mary a trace. Which That's would explain why good. Vivian's copy was snatched from her grasp not long after she found it. By the hand of the executors, yes. But what drives them? Self-interest or ideology? Fine question. Sadly, all that is known of the executors can be recounted in a single breath. You may just as soon ask me of their origins, numbers, or the identities of their leaders. Any answer I give would be pure speculation. And my hunt was doomed from the first. What was Vivian expecting? That I'd pluck it from thin air? Not from thin air, no. From ash. Rumors of the executors are rife among the scholars of Storm, but rather less so across the strait. I have a friend. Well, I had a friend in the village of Garnick, a collector of rare tomes upon which subject we would oft correspond. Alas, I have heard naught from him since the skies fell dark. And no doubt he too has turned. But though he did not mention it by name, it is possible that a surviving copy of From a Distance yet rests upon one of his many shelves, quietly awaiting discovery. If you were, Interesting. by some chance, able to save even a single book from the poor man's library, I know his soul would rest easier. Very well. When I next find myself in Walud, I'll be sure to pay Garnick a visit. Interesting. Okay. Make for Garnick. I'll tell you what we're gonna do though. We're gonna go to Port Azold first. Cypress Docks. Can I get to this place yet? Still can't get there. That's so weird. And thank goodness it's right by like <laughs> right by an obelisk. I'm sorry, did I never get this? That's interesting. Could have fooled me. Have we been to this place yet? This place hasn't. We have not missed. Is it all? Oh. Rookery's right through those trees. Come on. Listen Where's to the there? music. I bet I could still be you. Bark, bark. Ah, this music. Ah. Glad we chose this one first. Here we are. This was our hideaway. Wasn't it, Torgal?
Oh, baby Clive. Oh, and baby Turtle. Clive looks upset. Coming here helped me to forget who I was. Or wasn't. Prince. Shield. Son his mother could love. Oh, Clive. Had I been any one of those things? Perhaps. Oh, what is it, boy? This is all from the castle. And Phoenix Gate. Did you bring these here? Is that our training sword? sword? What? Well, well. <laughs> you never stopped looking for me, did you, boy? <laughs> oh, my God. Talk. For never giving up. I gotta pet my kitty with this going on here before I start crying. Forgetting. Oh my god, look at him. He's the cutest thing in the world. Let's take this with us, shall Yeah, we? dude. We get the sparring sword as art as a so keepsake. I don't forget either. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Is there more? That's not the way back to the boat, Toggle. That's dog for I know. All right, all right. I'm coming. I think I know where we're going. If it gets more emotional than that, then then I'm officially going to cry on stream. Whoa. the importance of putting the past behind you but without him we wouldn't be who we are today and we certainly couldn't steer our way to a better tomorrow come on toggle let's go home what an incredible like 5,600 experience for that. Oh my god. Charred sparring sword just blades and claws. Chambers. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Is it going to warp us straight back to home, though? I think it's not. But I'll tell you what, though. We're going to go there anyway. Because I want that candy glove. I want that glove. A new missive has been delivered at the writing table. Bloom. Blah, 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 bloom. How may I help you today, Clive? Give Your me that candy glove so you can help me. Stop. You earned this. Come again. I may have more. Increases damage dealt to enemies by 5%. All damage? I mean, is that worth it? Hmm. 
I don't know if that's... I mean, our attack is 468. But, I mean, all damage dealt... I think that's worth it. I think that's worth it. While we're here... While we're here, let's open up yours, sure. Sid, I was wondering if you could help me. It depends what with. A bearer, but recently freed from his bonds, is keen to join the Curse Breakers. As you know, the work we do is not easy, which is why we test every volunteer's suitability. I was hoping you could oversee this one's evaluation. Sure. I don't mind, but why this one? Because he wants to be a scout. Our ranks are filled with men and women capable of breaking chains and putting slavers to the sword. Shouldn't Gav? Scouting. We're few with the nose for that, which is why we still rely so heavily on Gav. And since he accompanies you on so many of your missions, I thought you might be better placed to recognize oh. the traits in him that we should look gotcha. for in those who'd fill his boots. Sounds reasonable. So yeah. you happy to oversee the boys' test, then? Sure. One can never have too many scouts. True words, Sid. I'll let the initiate know that you'll be attending his trial, and that he is to proceed directly to Northreach in readiness. No time like the present, eh? No time like the present. I'll await you there. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well... Northreach. I suppose they could have chosen somewhere closer. Oh, it's just not on the map. So we got one in Boklad. We got one in Northreach, and then we got the one that's over here. Let's do this one. Sure. Do boo do boo do do. That's still closed off. That's still closed off. Fly Ambrosia. Fly Ambrosia. No thanks. We got side questing to do. Oh, I loved that Torgal quest. That was great. Is that just like a big dude? You're not a hunt, are you? Nope. Hunts don't give health bars like that. The entire village looks abandoned. Now, which house would a bookworm live in? I can't get there from there, can I? No, but I'll grab this item anyway. Boo doo. Intelligence trading report. This is a Royal Army logbook. He... <laughs> His interests were certainly varied. Yeah, we're not reading all that nonsense. Chapter 16, nice. This well, I got it. it! Nice. But if what it says is true, I need to get this back to the hideaway. Leave Garnick. Which means I'm about to be attacked. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Leaving so soon, stranger. Oh, it's an executor. From a distance, so to speak. Subtle. <clears throat> I know who you are. And we need not waste time on introductions. Hand me the book. Sure Leave it in our care and return to your life. Your care? Do you mean to burn it? 
or bury it. That is not my decision to make. But by one means or another, its contents shall be removed from the common record. Then I'll have to politely refuse. I won't let you erase our history. Then we find ourselves at an impasse. Very well. The book can just as easily be pried from your dead hand. Do you want to do that, buddy? Let's see, shall we? Let's just do this. I don't want to take out the rest of the dudes. This is a beefy boy. Very beefy. Get out! Blah. Alrighty. Watch mine, sweet. Impressive. But we have other means. We shall claim the book yet. Why do you want it so badly anyway? It lays out in no uncertain terms the vanity and avarice of mankind. It tells the shameful history of the persecution and oppression of a gifted few by a giftless many. Would you say that this interpretation was correct? I don't know. You don't know. Your sword may be sharp, but your wits are dull. Shots fired. So let me answer for you. There is no correct interpretation of history. That a series of events took place may be proved beyond a doubt. But there can be no single, immutable explanation as to why they came to pass. It is a question of numbers and of belief. If enough people believe that a set of events occurred for a reason, that belief becomes the truth. So you're trying to control the truth? We are trying to protect people from themselves. From knowledge that would bring them naught but pain. That is all. You may keep the book. For now. The world is small. We shall meet again. Until then. Maybe. Wait. Damn it. Let's get this back to Vivian. Perhaps she can explain what that was all about. Okay. Let's go and do number two. Got a kitty coming back up. Why don't you come over here? So, no, thank you. I don't want to mess your light up here. And why are why are, do we have stuff at the shop? What, what do you have? What do you have? What could you possibly have? The breath of darkness. You've a discerning eye. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's all the way down there, crud. Do you see that too? What? That? <laughs> of course it's got to be like outrageously what far away. Is it? Oh, please. Just make it stop. I'm scared. 
It's all right. Let's go. Yeah. Man, speaking of uh, Ben Star, I think it's Ben Star, the voice of Clive. Since the voice of Mario is stepping down, he uh, <laughs> he put a video of saying different like Mario lines on Twitter. It's it's, it's fantastic. Definitely worth checking out. Get wrecked. Be a potion. Desert roses. Make for origin. I will not make for origin. I got side questing to do. I can't be Rutherford, can it? <laughs> Turncoats and cowards, the lot of you! If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you shall have! Turncoats Allow and cowards. Me. Ooh, let's go. I don't need your... Please, uh, Field Marshal, oblige him. This won't take long. You're right. It won't. Men... You want to fight me? Really? Really? We might as well. I assume this is going to be a new enemy's approach situation. Really, it was just an excuse to charge up my Zantetsuken. Once we get to 5,000, then we can get up to level 5 Zantetsuken. Super pumped fight. about that. Field Marshal Havel, I presume. Are either of you injured? No, my lord. You arrived just as our escort turned on us. Lucky timing. Fucking traitors. I'd heard reports of soldiers in the outlying regions abandoning the oaths they swore. But I hadn't thought the corruption had reached so close to the heart of the Republic. It's a fucking disgrace. Your interfering old bastard of an uncle tried to warn me, of course. My lord Marquis, or is Sid the outlaw more to your liking? Call me what you want. Either way. It doesn't change who I am, or the urgency of the message I bring. My uncle has a plan to right the realm, and he needs your help to see it through. Before well. I agree to anything, I'd have you answer one question. Boxer briefs. What do you stand to gain from all this? I won't deny that I might benefit from further chaos. But I seek a new beginning for all of us. And while the choices I've made may not always have been the right ones, I know I made them for the right reasons. For so long, so many of us have been told how we could live, how we could die, when it should have been our decision all along. Now we have a chance to put things right. But in order to take it, we must stand together. Even if it be beside those with whom we don't see eye to eye. Certainly not the words I expected from an outlaw. But perhaps your uncle was right. You are no ordinary outlaw. This is true. No ordinary outlaw. All right. I'll start by ordering my most trusted guard to bring the Dalmechian fringes under control. Next, I'll make contact with my counterparts in the Imperial Army and see if I can't convince them to try and restore order in their own territory. Thank you, Field Marshal. 
Okay then. But they are not the only ones we will need to convince. I need you to go to four what other do you places. Mean? I don't doubt that I can bully some sense into a few generals. But those they answer to require a different kind of persuasion. And when it comes to honeyed words, well, we will need an envoy. One who can court even the most stubborn of statesmen. You, perhaps. I'm flattered. But I'm no diplomat either. And I have other problems to attend to. What we need is a skilled arbitrator. And I may know just the person. Is that so? And would he happen to be an outlaw too? Probably. Of a different kind, perhaps. Well, is it Lubor? I suppose we'll all have to find a little of the outlaw in ourselves if we're to make it through this. Very well. Send your man to me right away. I shall. Uh, my lord Marquis. Yes? Your lord uncle bade me escort the field marshal to his manor in Port Isolde. And I will see that my associate joins you there. Very good, my lord. Very good. Thank you, sir. Huh. An envoy. I'm not sure I'm the man to talk anyone round. I can barely convince my brother to take his medicine. No. This is a job for someone with experience. Someone like Quinton. Hmm. I hope I can convince him at least. Let us speak with him. There we are. Give me my check of air. There we are. Ready, go. And Bruce is like, do you chill? I'll get you there, buddy. No need to ride from here. Mm -hmm. Quinton. I have a proposal for you. Do you now? Something tells me you'll be asking more of me than a cask of goat and gold. Mm -hmm. Go on then. Propose. Are we gonna have to go all the way to Port Azul, though? You'd have me convince the chiefs and chamberlains of the realm that they should simply swallow their pride and do the one thing that has proved impossible for thousands of years. Was Basically. there anything else? Perhaps I can fetch you a meat pie as well. I know it's a lot to ask, but I can think of none better suited to the role. And you'd have me give up what little I have left to do it. I told you, Clive. The people of Lost Wing are my family, and I cannot abandon them. You'll have to find someone else. I'm sorry to hear that. So am I. And why might that be? What he's asking. How is it any different to what you've done so far? They want you to speak for those who can't speak for themselves. That's what oh, you do best. Wonderful. If it's the vineyard you're worried about, we'll see that the grapes are picked and the tons filled. You know we will. It's not that. Then what is it? You said yourself we're family. Don't you trust us? You know that's not what I'm... Then what are you saying? That only we are worth saving? Why turn your back on everyone else? You convinced us we could build new lives for ourselves, and if you can do that, 
They used to say you couldn't convince the entire realm. I love A these side stirring quests. argument. I fear that any rejoinder I make might fall somewhat flat by comparison. So you'll join us? <sighs> Where do you need me? Field Marshal Havel will want to speak with you in person. He's currently in Port Isolde. I can arrange for a party of curse breakers to accompany you there. That would be very much appreciated. I hear the roads are far from safe these days. <laughs> Hopefully not for long. My uncle will want to know that his plan is taking shape. Return to the hideaway. Azer might at least have mentioned where in Northreach he'd be testing this recruit. Welcome, welcome. I fifty K for that one. Who knows what he wants? He never coin. Chill, buddy. <laughs> I lie. I could have just gone out right there, crud. I'm nervous. Well met, Sid. This is the initiate. Ember, present yourself. Ember. At your service, master. Please, just Sid. There are no masters here. Your life is your own. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sid. The sergeant says you'll be evaluating me at my trial. To become a scout, yes. You are aware of the dangers inherent in that role. I am. But I swore I'd face them. Just like the man who saved my life. Who would that be? Gav. It was him who found me and freed me. No magic. No, no wonder he wants to be a scout. One man and his nose came and sniffed me out. It taught me what one man can do if he puts his mind to it. And I've been training ever since, so that one day I can be someone's savior, just like Gav was mine. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be flattered. You clearly have good intentions, Ember. And it sounds like you're under no illusions. Stick to this path and you'll make a fine curse breaker. So, what? <laughs> have I passed? You haven't even started yet. Now listen. Not far from here is an Imperial lookout, Eastwatch. The guards there record all their sightings in a logbook. You are to find it, and bring it here. And bring it here, right. Anything else? No. Sneaking into a heavily guarded Imperial outpost and stealing the logbook would be quite sufficient. You'll need to assess the situation, determine a point of entry, create a distraction and effect an escape, all without being discovered and thrown into an Imperial oubliette. Ember, Gav isn't our best scout because he can do everything. It's essential that you know your limits. Know my limits, right. <coughs> I won't let you down. It shouldn't be as dangerous as I made out. But keep a weather eye on him all the same, would you? On my way. So we're going to East Flash. All right, then. Uh, impress me. You know what I might do? I might unequip the defense thing that I have and equip the attack thing. No, because it's defense. It's thirty defense. So I want to keep mine thirty. If it were less, then maybe I wouldn't. These are clean kills. Perhaps young Emma really is ready. Ah! <laughs> or maybe not. Damn it. Whoa, hi. Ember, draw your sword. Oh, God. Then run. Uh, um. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Wait a 
Shuriken wins! Let's just take him out. Because we'll probably have time between this quest and the next one for our abilities to come back, so. Ooh, he's a beefy one, huh? area of the map. Kestrel's Beak Braid? What the hey is that thing? Increases down thrust damage. Some of these, man, are like... I hate to say it, but some of these are like beyond useless. <laughs> Ooh, we have Homegirl from the Veil vale with a quest. But I think after this we'll be able to turn in three. So we'll go back to the hideaway. We'll turn in three. We'll look in our chambers. We'll get. We'll pick up three more. I didn't expect you back so soon. Where is Ember? How did he fare? I thought I'd find him with you. He must have fled. I followed him to Eastwatch, where I found him being set upon by a wild Avis. He was just standing there. <coughs> didn't even draw his sword. I had to step in and take care of things. By the time I had, he was nowhere to be seen. Did he use he the fight to, off to steal the logbook? Apparently not. He did say you can't do stuff by yourself. I'm sorry, Sid. I knew the boy had a nervous streak, but he seemed like the right man for the job. I believe this is the logbook you tasked me with retrieving. Hey? How did you? Don't you tell me you breached the tower while Sid was busy saving your skin. What? Called it. Wasn't that what you asked me to do? To bring the thing back without getting caught? He has you then, is there? And he did it all on his own. But Sid, he... He did what he thought was best. And now I have to decide whether I agree. Of course. We'll await your evaluation back at the hideaway. Don't you leave my sight. Yes, Sergeant. Cheeky little monkey. This won't be an easy decision. I mean, he did the thing he was tasked to do. Right? I think maybe after this, we do the three that are scattered around the map, and then that means that the only ones that are left, that are left are, will be the... Uh, One's in here. I bring good news. The field marshal has agreed to your plan. Ha! Of course he has. I didn't doubt you for a moment, dear boy. Rutherford is accompanying him back to your manor in Porter Zolder as we speak. Zolder. They will await your return there. As will one other. One other? Who, exactly? Mm. Lord Havel was concerned that even if he could get the realm's armies to agree to an accord, he might not be as successful in convincing those with political power. He asked if I might have a solution. And I suggested a certain Imperial Lord Magistrate turned Liberator. One of your co-conspirators? Master Quinton would probably call me one of his. But yes. Another outlaw, then. Hmm. Just the thing we need to put these rotten politicos in their places. Good thinking, Clive. I'm His voice actor is so good. The more the merrier. Eh? Uncle. Assuming Havel and Quinton can solve our problem with the armies, you still haven't mentioned how we might manage the grain shortages. 
Oh, don't you worry, my boy. The seven high houses will be seeing to that. They have all agreed to make the most generous of donations. Oh, of course, it did take a little persuasion, but luckily I had some unexpected help. From who? Why, you, my boy. Rumor has it that you rescued the Lady Ariane's head steward, Rockford, from a horde of bloodthirsty bandits. It was more of a handful. Hmm. Well, the old battle axe was so pleased. She had a shipload of talents delivered to my private docks by the next new moon. And when the other houses saw the parsimonious old crone's purse strings finally loosen, they as good as tripped over themselves in the rush to follow suit. Nice. <laughs> I'm happy to hear it. Now, I must be getting back to the manor. Join us there at your earliest convenience, would you? Of course, Uncle. Join us there, he says. Or is it going to warp us straight there? It is! Interesting. And how, pray tell, will we get that grain to the capital if the roads are still overrun with Akashic? you find another bloody road! I only have so many men, and I'm not about to send them headlong into an ether flood. That is, unless you'd have them turn as well. Well, I'd certainly eat less. Oh, says the man with a belly bigger than a band of curls. My soldiers actually need their rations. Without any food to keep them going, they'll be dead even before you've sent them on your fool's errand. <clears throat> if I may, gentlemen. Perhaps I might suggest an alternative approach. Though supply routes are indeed disrupted, there is no shortage of ships. Indeed, they bob away in every bay from here to Randalar, awaiting a safe haven. Allow them to make port and fill their bellies full of grain. And once those who crowd the cities are fed, ferry the displaced back to the countryside to work the fallow fields. Ah, but I'm sure that you wish to continue your discussion. Forgive the interruption. Two such firm friends as yourselves need no help from the likes of me. Rutherford spoke fondly of the great bond between you. Us? Friends? I can't stand the man! <laughs> Clive, I'm beginning to question the quality of the company you keep. <laughs> and what kind of company are you expecting him to keep? The man's a criminal! Criminal? How... How dare you! You are not fit to breathe the same air as this Fine. Upstanding young gentleman. Upstanding? He calls himself Sid the Bloody Outlaw. Once more unto the breach. Look at Clive back there shaking his head. Fantastic. <sighs> Shall we begin again? What we seek here is not to create a new nation, nor to claim the thrones of those that already exist. We wish simply to bring stability to the realm that mankind might weather the current storm. And to do that, we must convince those in power, the generals, the statesmen, the nobles, that our cause is just. There will be disagreements, yes. And I imagine some resistance, much resistance. Much resistance. But we cannot let that deter us. I think the if giant tusks show them behind them. Earth, show them that we walk it ourselves. And I am confident they will follow. The fate of the world lies in my nephew's hands. But the well-being of her people lies in ours. And we must not squander the chance that Clive has given us. Uncle Byron, I... Now, with that settled, let's move on to the signing of the Accord. For what great moment in history hasn't been accompanied by a little ceremony? <clears throat> Citizens of Valisthea, I present to you the Triunity. Rutherford, Mike Will. Okay. Well, my boy, the stage is set. That it is. This is the role you were born for. Now I ask only that you trust in the talents of your supporting cast. We shall play our parts to the best of our abilities. 
that you might have the opportunity to shine. The realm needs its Sir Crandall. And there is no better Crandall than you, Clive. I uh, want you to keep this signed accord. For your chambers. In you. I will. Sick. Two down, like Thank six you. to go. Quest complete. Oh, I love it. The breath of darkness. Oh, and we're we're back home. Cool. What do you think that thing is? It's a damned distraction, is what it is. Now back to work! <laughs> Fantastic. I love that. I'm coming, Joshua. Don't you worry about it. We'll do this one before the Vivian one. Welcome back. Because since there's only three outside of home, then we'll, uh, we'll do those three first Welcome and then we'll back. come back. Trip wasn't too much of a pain in the ass, I hope. Truth be told, it was me who suggested roping you in to help with the trial. But from what I hear, things didn't go quite as planned. No, they most certainly did not. Yes. Amber lost his nerve in the face of a beast of prey, but he didn't lose heart. What if you say no? He on, and he achieved his aim. I bet one of the other ones depends on And is on. that not what we ask of our scouts? Indeed it is. Thank you for your honest appraisal, Sid. The fact remains, however, that Ember will not always have a battle-hardened warrior on hand to pluck him from the jaws of peril. All I have gleaned from this trial is that without someone watching his back, Ember is little more than a liability. Wait, Sergeant. Ember still has much to learn, it's true. And this time he was found wanting. But I'd say he's due a second chance, nonetheless. Nice. After all, he did do as you asked. With a bit of hard work, any hand can be made to hold a blade, and any mind can conquer its fears. But a scout's nose is different. You've either got one, or you ain't. And by sniffing out that lot, young Ember here has shown he has a conk and an arm. Wouldn't do to waste it now, would it? Fine. One more chance. I'll do whatever you ask. I'll spend my days and nights in the pit if I have to. I'll show you. Just you wait. Go bring me back a more ball tentacle. Off as a brush there, huh? but his heart's in the right place. Just like someone else we know. Hmm. If you ask me, we've been leaning on him for far too long. That time the curse breakers took some of the weight off his shoulders, I reckon. Good night. Hmm. Just don't tell Gav I said so, will ya? I won't have him thinking he's been hard done by. Man, some of these characters feel like they, you know, we'd be asking for a day off. Or they sound like they just yeah. chugged a big glass of milk. Sounds a bit fine thing. Back to work. Back to work. Forgive me, Sid. This did not play out as I expected. <laughs> Things really do these days. But that's why we need men like Ember more than ever. Men who can make the best out of a bad situation. Remember that. I, I will, Sid. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Trial and error. Man, by the time we finish these, we're gonna have another level up. Getting a lot of these as accessories. All right, Viv. Vivian. I found it. The book you lost. You... You found it. Thank you, Clive. Even though I asked this of you, I was not entirely sure it would be possible. I fear the executors had seized every copy. I met with one of these executors, and I convinced him to let me keep it. He told me something, that the yeah, truth is just a matter of collective belief. 
And that if enough people believe a lie, that lie becomes the truth. It does. But it also means that the truth is not immutable, that it can be changed. Provided that those who wish to change it can convince enough people that their perspective is the correct one. As the sad history of the bearers proves. You said that the book inspired you to become a scholar. It did. Aye. Or its author, rather. She was a heretic, you see. A firebrand and a dissenter. A gallows stood ready for her in every corner of the realm. And by shunning society, or perhaps being shunned by it, she stumbled upon a truth so potent that an entire realm trembled at the prospect of its utterance. I, too, have always felt somehow set apart from the world of men. A stranger to my own species. She taught me that my solitude was not a curse, but a gift. And that, though my journey to the truth might be a lonely one, what I found at my destination would be more than worth the cost. Do you still feel that way? That you're not... one of us? Honestly? I'm not entirely sure anymore. Since coming to the hideaway, I find my thinking somewhat... clouded. Perhaps the result of studying mankind from a rather... closer perspective than I had intended. Mm. The more I study, the more I find value in this perspective. In looking not from the outside, but from within. So if you'll permit me, I'd like to continue my work here. Remember, Clive, when enough people believe, belief begets truth. Give the men and women of this benighted world the gift of truth. Make oh, Bill. As I do. I'll try, Vivian. I appreciate that, girl. I'll try. Quest complete. Heck yeah. Inconvenient trace. Scholar's monarch displayed in Clive's chambers. What up? Another one at the reading table? What? <laughs> Garnick and Walud, eh? The Wailing Banshee. Cursebreakers came across the creature while searching for survivors near the abandoned village of Garnick. Misled by the abomination's appearance into thinking she might be a local woman, they went to offer help, but soon it was they who were seeking salvation. The survivors say they can still hear the screams, both those of the white, those of their fallen comrades. Let's go to the reading table real quick and see what side quest that is. And then we're gonna go to Garnick. We're gonna We're gonna fight this banshee. Mm -hmm. And Gav has one. Man, this is wild. I didn't think we were going to open up more. Hunts, for sure, yeah. Oh, how many do we have left? Uh, this... Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten left. Ten left?! That is outrageous. A fine hound. The two of you have been together for what probably feels like a lifetime now, but there's still a lot you have to learn about that hound of yours. I, he'd stepped in front of a bloody raging behemoth if it were meant protecting you, but that don't mean you should take it for granted. At the end of the day, he's a hound. Sometimes he just wants someone to pat his head and rub his belly and give him a handful of coupon nuts. You do good to remember that, Karen. Wait, no! Making amends. Master Clive, I'm aware that there are matters much more of much greater import which demand your attention, but should you find yourself a moment, I bid you visit me in the shelves that I might ask for a single favor concerning His Highness Prince Dion. Heck yeah! It's usually me making demands of Hippocrates. I wonder what this is about. 
I also a tale to tell. T A I L A. Why don't we grab the Gav one while we're here, too? Uh, you all right? All right. Someone troubling you? No more than usual. It's just yeah, this baby will be coming soon, and I wanted to make something for it. I'm sure she'd like that. Back in the north, families would always make gifts when a Ben was on the way. I'll let the little tykes know they were welcome in their new homes, like. Okay. So, what's the problem? Well, the problem is that Ed is due any day now. I don't know if I'll be ready in time. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. You know, there just might be. There just might be. Right, then. What exactly are we making? A good luck charm. But not just any good luck charm. Not just any. No, one made from the feather of a silver chocobo. Silver chocobo? There's no luck in all the realm, or so we used to say back home anyway. Thing is, they're hard to come by. Had Otto and Karen check with their suppliers, but nothing. I try and track one down myself, only... Only the big day is fast approaching. And that's all you need, a feather. That or the bird whose arse it's attached to, I. I was gonna start by asking around with traveling traders plying the northern borders. But there's no shortage of those passing through Martha's. I think I might make that my first port of call. I'll let you know if I find anything. You're a good friend, Clive. I won't forget this. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Boom, 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 boom. To Martha's. Ah, speak with three people? Out of here with that nonsense. Alright, Harpocrates. Lordsman Harpocrates, I received your note. Ah, yes. I expect you're wondering what this is all about. <laughs> I... You spoke of making amends with Dion, but I can't imagine what for. Then I should begin by telling you that I was once his tutor. This was some years ago, of course. Yeah? Before I joined Sid in his hideaway. At that time, I was counted among the foremost scholars of Oriflam, and was accordingly invited to the palace to supervise the young prince's education, all to ensure that the future emperor had a firm grounding in, well, everything an emperor should. History, religion, commerce, government, Alas, our time together was cut short when Dion left to join the Dragoons. His study is no longer being deemed necessary. I had not expected to meet with him again, least of all here. Have you spoken with him? No, I... I have yet to find the right moment. Oh, Tom. His Highness always seems so preoccupied, especially when alone. I would not wish to disturb his ruminations with idle words of greeting. Not when I know he dwells upon the evil Ultima had him commit in the Dominion. The guilt weighs heavily on him, I know. But as you say, that was Ultima's doing. Surely you can't blame yourself. When I first met him, it was not guilt, but his people's expectations that weighed heavily upon him. And I did nothing to ease that burden. He bore it alone. Until the day he could not bear it any longer. It is one of my greatest regrets that I only ever offered him my wisdom. Hmm. And what he truly needed was friendship. The blame for Dion's transgressions lies not only on his shoulders, but on mine. I see. I'm ready to help you in any way that I can. Then I beg that you bring me a wild wyvern tale. Apothecaries across the ages agree that even to glimpse such a flower is to be granted inner solace. Fabulists and fraudsters all, of course. But there is oft a seed of truth to be found where even the most outlandish opinions align. Well, it can't hurt to try. Where can I find this flower? Now will I know it. You have seen cultivated wyvern tales before, I trust. 
the lily-white blossoms from whose roots the poisonous ink for the brand is distilled. Well, those which grow in the wild differ only in their purple hue. The harsher the environment in which they are raised, the deeper the color. Mm -hmm. There is a waterfall in Rickmal's roost across the strait, where the flowers once grew in abundance. Whether they still survive there, I know not. But try as I might, I can find no likelier location. It's all right. I'll find you a wife and tail one way or another. Thank you, Clive. And please, be safe. On it, buddy. Speak to Joshua, too. Yeah, Joshua's the closest, so... Oh, Torval's hanging out with him. Ah, Clive. Joshua, what's wrong? <laughs> don't say nothing. It don't say nothing. It's not nothing. I've received word from Cyril. The Undying have found Father's will. Or something akin to it. His will. His will. How and nice. where? In the crypt beneath Rosalith Castle. After Kupka was kind enough to drive out the Imperials, the Undying took the opportunity to recover what relics of the Duchy yet remained. And in the process of doing so, they found a letter from Father. I'm surprised anything survived down there. Cyril asked that I join him in Tabor at my convenience. I have been meaning to go, but... Would you join me? Sure. Of course. I want to know what's in that letter as much as you do. Very well. I'm ready to leave when you are. There's a will. Right! Well! Now we're spread. Herb were. Uh oh. 